So here's a quick one about using the array modifier with the object offset option. So normally, if you rotate the object that's controlling it, you get this kind of like tentacle-like rotation like that. And you get the same thing if you rotate the object that's being arrayed also. But what if you wanted to array it and rotate it without getting that kind of motion? How would you do that? So this is actually really easy to do. First, you want to go to your object that you want to array and add the array modifier. And then switch off relative offset and turn on object offset. And then you want to, I see I created uh, an empty for this. You, just, you can use any object really, it doesn't matter. But you just want to create a second object that's going to control the array and select that. I'm just going to turn this up to 10 so we can visualize it a little better. And right now we're going to get that motion that I was talking about the first time. But what you want to do is select that empty and go over here to constraints and add a copy rotation. And then you want to select the object that's being arrayed right here. And now when you move it, you can see that you're getting the rotation without that like tentacle movement. Uh, but if you try to move this one, it's not working. And all you have to do is uh, change mix from replace to after original, and it should work fine. So now you can rotate this, and it gives each one that individual rotation. Or if you want the motion that is like what you would expect, you rotate the empty. So that's it for this one. Just a quick tip. Have a good one. See you next time.